Look at this. This Groot is still hanging around here. No one's gonna buy that. What is this? Hmm. Uh, let's see. Still have all these Gundam C builds. Uh, and... Hey, hey Chun Li, look at you. That's what they got there. Uh, one day, one day. Wow, Scarlet. Big Boa. Whiplash is here, which means that is on sale for $17.49. And that's the only Marvel legend here. She's. Yeah, we are here. Ooh, desserts. Mini Create. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, oh man, I didn't even know Apex Legends made uh, those weapons and stuff. Pocahontas. Uh, I don't even know if we're finding anything here. I was just in here just to check and see what could be here. But, yeah, who knows? That hopper. That's interesting. We got the big limit breakers. Oh, look at you. We got this. Neen nub. Num nub. Nub. <laughs> TIE fighter still going on. Really? There's an Akiko here. A hit. Donatello. More of those things that we see all the time. All the time. And I guess that's it. Eh? crushed though they're really really packing it in now oh they're getting these now wow there's more here is that champa more rick flair Ray. Fortnite, a lot of Fortnite, and Mario down here. Still here. Still a ton of these retros. And they still have this. So not bad. I mean, there's, they still have variety, I guess you can call it. And there's a spot. And look, they hid the trucks here. And oh, look, they have Jackson here now. Cool, 10 bucks. Okay. And then here. Look at this, I can't believe it. If there's any Iron Man cards left, yeah, 749, that's pretty good. Not yet. Restocks. They restocked the Batmobile. Look, they got more here. Good lord. And here's the statues. Look at this. You're here too. There's Ultimate Undertaker. 23. Oh, they restocked on Brit. Oh my god. Well, 
Oh, that's a chase. Holy crap. My first chase. That's insane. I actually found one. <laughs> and oh look, splinter. I've never seen splinter before. And that's cool. Look, they made slime again. All right. Look at these guys. Batmobile, Millennium Falcon, Turtle Van, Deadpool truck. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, and look at that restock on Usagi. More restocks again. What's the privateer doing here? Okay, someone just threw that over here. Oh no, Fei Long. You're always a peg warmer now. And look at you. It's my first time seeing you. Oh my God, I walked by this. I'm finally seeing it. They're stocking up. Look at this. Two Batmobiles, $47.99. Price is so much better than <laughs> the $80 price. Look at it, they're finding a lot of stuff. Atom Smashers now back. This black suit Superman. A lot of the Aquaman stuff, of course. There is the Knights of Steel. And they still got the rival Animal Man still going on. Soraya is still here. That Chris Jericho. <laughs> Yeah, that's, you know, typical. We've seen these already. It's cool. The Batmobile is a big, big one for this location. That'll probably sell real quick. You guys have been here for a while. Uh, Wednesday, MJ. That's it, guys. Figured they might have something, and I think the Batmobile and some of those McFarlane figures are the newest stuff here, so. Ah, we checked. All right, guys, what are we gonna find? 349. This, especially this. What? Oh my god. Why is there two? Why is there three? What the hell is happening here? 
And of course the statues are here too, which we've seen before. All right, what are we gonna find? I don't know. <laughs> We'll see. We'll see what's here. Oh my god, the Iron Man wave, which is now clearance at 749 at at uh Target. But look at this. There's already I'm seeing She-Hulk at a Walmart. Is this the whole wave? It is the whole wave. Holy crap. The whole wave. That's pretty awesome. Someone just put it out. What else is here? Look, there's Iron Man, there's nothing else. Um, as far as it goes, let's see what's here. A desert skiff? That's interesting. Mm. <laughs> uh, Yord is there. Haven't seen that one in a while. Has Vizsla. It's funny because they clearance that and then they brought it right back up in price again. Uh, wrestling. Top picks. There's Walmart exclusives, which I think some could be on clearance. And no GI Joe. What in the hell's happening? You know what? I come to think of it, I don't think this this location had GI Joe. But for some reason, I'm looking for it as if it was here. All right, that's enough. This was just set up. Oh, man. That's too much, man. Good Lord. I would love to try these out. Love to. That's awesome. Seeing this in stores, very cool. These are still, these are good too. Everything looks all nice and neat, right? Some clearance tags on Funko. Look at this stock up. Baxter too. Oh. No other new Ronins. Like, I want to find Leo and Donnie and stuff. That's a little crazy. There's no way this was $49.99. That's not. There's a second one too with the same tag. Okay. They can't, what, then what was $49.99? Probably the two-pack. I bet you it's McFarlane two-pack. Uh, let's see, oh, there's another one. What the hell? You just show up again. What is going on? That's like every video now. This is like the fourth video I'm about to make that's gonna have a platinum figure when in the past, I could never find platinum figures ever <laughs> now it's all over the place uh, gundams it's all these gundam wing figures which is not bad it's crazy you know it's funny because i went to michael's and they sell the exact same ones for 29.99 and that's insane let's see ghost face I guess that's it. I got some figure arts, some older ones, of course, but these are your basic figures, which are still good. This goes face Inferno. Oh, the restock with Ichigo. I haven't seen Ichigo in a long time. Very cool. Now there are tags all over it and they all say McFarlane. So Page Puncher 2 pack 509. 7 inch deluxe 1249, Demon Slayer 1249, Gaming 7 inch figure 689, and McFarlane Movie Maniac 749. Look at this. Restocks on those. Oh, this Rey Mysterio. I remember that one. Oh, well, these elites are 689 now. Restock on Privateer. Yeah, there's more of them. There's a Vader up there. Hmm. You don't see this one. Oh, I don't see this one that often anymore. A lot of the classics and the newer ones. 
really stocked up here. All right, let's see. Ooh, Count Nefaria. He should be 749 or something like that. I might scan it just to see if it is on clearance. That would be pretty crazy. They do have the two pack here, a ton of them, but there's no tag on it. Um, oh, look at that. There's an Alga Hide, 2249, but they don't have that here anymore. Duke and a torch. Very cool. Hey, my first time seeing the Cyborg Superman. Nice. Party Wallop, that should be on clearance too. Vector. Oh, 12.49. Okay, and then some other stuff. Hey, look at that. Nice on the retro card. Very cool. Hey, I found another Night Creeper. Holy crap. that face it's got some of these guys still floating around at this store this store gets a lot of like stuff that you don't see at my other stores it's crazy yeah see this is nuts there we go maybe that is the 34.99 price the monolith damn okay they have a tangero here that might be lower because we saw the tags these are old figures. Oh, jeez. All right. This luck is crazy, right? There's Sportsmaster. That's awesome. This is crazy. I'm leaving it, right? <laughs> and another Night Creeper. What in the hell? Look, this store even has that many. What the hell? That's cool. Night Creeper, awesome. Another Nefaria. Oh man. Let's see, there's other stuff here too. Oh. Look at this. Never seen Skeletor before. Or Tila. Or Casey Jones. <laughs> oh. My well, first time seeing this one. That's cool. This must have been a return of some kind. Had to have been. Oh, I know what this is. Yep, there it is. The four pack. Saw this once before. Look at this. Tempting, right? Beginnings is here. Annual is here. Oh, God. Metal is here. Okay, we are here. Let's look. See, the racetrack is getting filled up now. And, oh boy, here it is. Look at it. That's one. That is one. Here's Iron Man. How insane is that, right? Gamora. Oh, that's Captain Marvel. All right, let's... Or Commander Rogers, holy crap. Well, I think NJ Tree already got me that. So let's, let's kind of, I'm gonna sort this out, show you guys. There you go. Holy crap. So, full case of Speedball, full case of Talon, full case of Elena, full case of Rogers, two full cases of Rogue, one full case of Tracksuit Mafia. That is crazy. That's awesome. I can't wait for more. 
Okay, we're checking everything else out because who knows where they could have put more stuff. You know what I mean? This is mostly the same from the last time. So let's check the other end caps and aisles and see. Because the racetrack was the most important part and that's where we found <laughs> our haul pretty much. This is still here. Remember I found this last time and there's still a whole other box too. So damn it, man, you know, stuff like that. You gotta wait sometimes, good lord. A lot of basic figures. What is this? Main event. Wow. Wow, 15 bucks. Get the hell out of here. These do not even cost that much. Oh, there's Jimmy. Nothing else really here on the pegs. Just double checking though. I think all that's left is these end caps. And these end caps are practically the same. They did get He Who Remains and Ashuri. Oh my god. They got Ant-Man back in, so there's there's absolutely some more. So yeah, Ant-Man, he who remains. Where they found that, that's insane. And then of course, these are all here, which we've seen before, but they did get in Bodhi. That wasn't here last time. What's up guys, how's it going? How was your toy hunts? This one, for me, unbelievable, considering the fact that, you know, I, I was making it a habit. You know, Ollie's once a week, Target, maybe twice a week, Walmart, barely once a week, but it, depending upon errands, you know. But even with all the other ones, Liquidation Stores and Ross, it's always a hit or miss because we don't know what they're going to end up with. But Ollie's, they are preparing for Christmas. It is so crazy with the two stores that I typically go to and they're setting up all the shelving, all the racetrack shelving, all that stuff. And they're slowly building on their toy area because of Christmas. I, I'm very shocked. And then this past weekend, friends and everyone in the toy community is posting images of newer Hasbro Marvel Legends showing up or or black series showing up at ollie's i mean here's here you go these are some images that i that my friends had sent me and i'm just like you gotta be kidding me this is insane and the one the one more insane one was the tracksuit mafia unbelievable do you know how much crap that we all went through in regards to our pre-orders through target because it is a target exclusive and so many of it got canceled. So many got canceled. The only way you could probably get it is if you were able to find it at Target at some point. Because it never restocked. It just, if a Target received it, it went up there and there you go. I did find my one at Target during the time when it was released. Just one. And I drove over like an hour to find it. Uh, so I am I still remember that because it was such a pain. But to everyone who had canceled pre-orders. Man, that sucks. But here we go. Ollie's, I guess buying stock from Target, inventory from Target, from God knows where, I have no idea. I highly doubt this is from Hasbro, but then again, who knows? Who knows? I don't know. If you're someone that knows, someone from, that works at Ollie's, I would love to know how you go about buying your inventory from, let's say Hasbro, Target, Walmart, things like that. That's incredible. That is absolutely incredible. So you saw what I found at this particular Ollie's. And I'm sorry, I know I'm focusing on Ollie's, but that is a big thing within our toy community. Ollie's is one of these, is the, for those of us mostly on the mid and east coast, because Ollie's is like a, it's, it originated in Pennsylvania and it just, you know, exploded. It's, I mean, <laughs> unbelievable. So yeah, 
it's a big deal. Ollie's is a big deal for us collectors because when they start getting stuff in that came out, let's say, last year, some of us may not have found it in the wild or may not have pre-ordered or they just missed out on it. And it's, sometimes it's unfortunate, but here's our second chance at Ollie's. So what the hell? They got in the, they're getting in, I should say, not all stores, but there are some stores. They're getting in the Tracksuit Mafia, of course. They are getting in the uh, Amadeus Cho Build-A-Figure Wave. Seriously? They're getting in, why am I? They're getting in the, um, what the hell is the one with Speedball? Oh, the uh, controller Build-A-Figure back again. Why? why? I mean, it, it, Speedball, a case of Speedball was there. I heard this, uh, cases of Madam Hydra are showing up. Uh, but the other, what's the other wave that I completely blanked out on? What in the hell? You, you here? I'm, here's an image. I'm blanking out. And I'm sure I'm going to remember it while I'm talking. But that is showing up as well. So they're getting more cases of the Atuma build a figure wave, which is insane, but they are. Uh, and then there's other ones. Uh, friends have sent me images of the target exclusive moon knight retro card what the heck that is crazy ah i remember now. the hydra stomper build a figure wave so yeah i wow that is some cool stuff so i didn't finish the amadeus cho build a figure wave but there we go commander rogers was there andre tree had already picked it up for me so i left it behind although there's there's a whole case of it there um, I'm looking for Captain Marvel and I'm looking for Miss Marvel. I can finish that Amadeus show build a figure wave. It's insane. So what did I pick up? And I would love to know what you guys have picked up too. So and, uh, if you have an Ollie's, I would love to hear what you got. But what I picked up was the Iron Man from the Amadeus show build a figure. It doesn't have a build a figure piece, but it is another Iron Man suit for the low price of $10 that I could absolutely put with my Iron Man. So there is that Heroes Return version, which I vaguely remember. But there you go. We got Iron Man again. <laughs> and I did buy myself a Tracksuit Mafia version. So this will be my second. And I have a third one that if you guys have been watching Disavowed Action Figures, he had picked one up for me as well. So I now have three of these. Could I have bought more? Absolutely. They had the whole case. They had seven there. And I left, I left four behind because I did buy two more. But this is going to unboxing art because he, he messaged me right away. If you find two, please pick me up some. So here you go, unboxing art. These are for you because $10 is ridiculous especially for these target exclusives that went high up in the secondary market considering they were just gone they were, they were gone but here they are ten dollars that's insane yeah i took the case by the way <laughs> the, the shipper box <laughs> to carry these figures in when i was shopping um but yeah ollies please go check your ollies but i did get one more pickup this pickup this was uh you know, impulse buy because of Hasbro Pulse. So you guys may already know this. If you watched the recent live stream, you kind of know what it is already. But this is a Hasbro Pulse pickup. Of course, you guys know this. This is Kang the Conqueror. Holy goodness gracious. This is a very cool looking figure. Seeing it at San Diego Comic-Con, not that I was there, but the images from San Diego Comic-Con, they look incredible, especially faceplates. Very cool, Hasbro. Very cool, you're doing faceplates. That's a great idea for you guys. This is awesome. The chair, everything looks incredible. It's a big box. And look how thin it is. That means we're going to have to put this thing together. So it's not one solid piece. We're definitely going to be putting this thing together. But there you go. Kang. And there you have it. That's the toy hunt. That is the haul. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you're finding if you have an Ollie's around you. Or if not, what are you finding elsewhere? Ross, Target, clearance everywhere. Go hunt them down. Thank you guys. Like, comment, subscribe if you're new. I would greatly appreciate it. Almost at 7,000 subscribers. Can we do it by the end of the year? 
please help me in doing so because that would be amazing. I would greatly appreciate that. We have more Toy Hunts in the future. We have New York Comic Con coming up. We have Legions Con coming up. I hope you guys uh, visit any one of them because I will be there. So if you are, say hi to me. I would greatly appreciate it. But thank you guys so much. Hope to see you soon. And I hope to see you on the next hunt. Thank you.